Hello everybody, Lord X is here, and I want to welcome you all back to The Evil Within 2. Now, it's been a few days since my last upload, and uh, I've been having problems doing... I wanted to do a video on Dragon Age and that, but I've been having real problems with that game. There's been a lot of errors, and a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of shit going on with that. So, um, hard to get out on my PC. But I've been playing The Evil Within 2 as well, so this is the next upload. And, uh, yeah, we had fun last time on The Evil Within 2. We, uh... We went to City Hall, I believe it was, and got in there and we had to fight the giant big lady with the multiple heads that was chasing us down with her buzzsaw arm. That went okay-ish. We uh, got a little way through the marrow again, second part of the marrow for us, and uh, we got in City Hall. When we got in City Hall, we found a new guy that had been uh, killed, thrown off a balcony, and this uh, photographer, emo guy, uh, that we now know as Stefano, gayest name ever, but yeah, uh, he... This is Stefano. This is what he does. He is the antagonist for now, anyway. And he did mention when we were cornered in the boss room, when he took another picture of us, that uh, that he is not the only one looking for the core, or the only one deserving of the core, as he stated. Um, so yeah, uh, he took this picture of us, froze us in time, gave Sebastian a nasty cut right on the side of his face, like he's going to stab him in the eye with that shit and uh, left us to fight his monstrous creation known as the Obscura or in folk legend or urban legend known as the Camera Obscura. I've heard about this thing. Uh, it's been it's taken its place in other computer games. Uh, I'm not sure which ones but I have heard of it. It's meant to be a camera that specifically takes pictures of the souls of the damned or allows you to see ghosts or something. It is an urban legend, obviously there's no basis from reality with this thing. But um anyway, yeah, we fought his monster his monster, the Obscura. Uh defeated it. I managed to defeat it with a sniper rifle of all things at close range, so that was uh interesting and that was uh different from what I'm used to doing. And uh yeah, we got out, we finished it. That was, it was a good episode. It was quite clean. I done quite well. I went through the under reaches of the marrow, managed to get out of that. Um yeah. So uh, th that's where we got to. So I'm going to continue on from there. Uh, small disclaimer is that before this video started, I went back into the game and had a little look around the uh, city hall to try and get to the underneath region. Because if you guys remember rightly, I went underneath uh, d down this ladder into an underneath part and it was blocked off. And I thought I might be able to access it from another side and find goodies in there. I could not, so I'm assuming that the marrow leads around somewhere else and we're able to get to that from another place in the game. Uh, so yeah, I've done that, but now I'm back up to where I was and ready to just exit straight out of City Hall and see what else is going on. So, without further ado, uh, let's do that. Let's get in. Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. Let's do this shit. Right guys, not gonna, not gonna fuck around on this bit. Like I said, I've been, I've been back through here. Um, had a look around City Hall, so just gonna move on. Does that door look open? Oh no, it's just the thing on the table. Okay, so I'm going back outside. And we've uh, sorted out the stable field emitter, and everything's more normal, especially around City Hall. So hopefully everything outside will be more normal. Yeah, okay, the guy's body's gone, so I'm assuming everything else is like that as well. Everything weird that we saw before has been rectified. Let's have a look. Okay, what's going on? Damn it. Son of a bitch still has Lily. And now I'm back to square one again. We've reestablished contact with the marker agent, Kidman. About time. Okay. Sebastian? Sebastian? Are you there? Stop. Finally. Are you all right? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's got Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Ugh. I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. I'm so close. I can feel it. We 
want to find her just as much as you do, Sebastian. Yeah. Sure you do. Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad, but I have faith in you. You've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk, Kidman. Don't worry about it. But right now, you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can find out and send it to your room. Okay. In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Gotta figure out where he took her. Okay. I think I might have just figured it out. Big eyeball up there. Good job of hiding. Nope. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. Yep. Okay, what are we doing? Talking to O'Neill? O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. Sorry. That lunatic still has her, but I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. May need a little guidance here. I'm on it. Looks like turning the emitter back on stabilized some passages there. Exit D5 looks to be the one closest to the theater. I'm not totally sure what you'll encounter down there, so watch your back. At this point, nothing would surprise me. Okay, chapter 6. On the Hun. Okay, so that, that was a quick chapter. It was mainly the boss fights and just doing City Hall. Okay. Okay, and it's probably worth noting, I might as well tell you guys, that I'm playing this alongside playing the original game in my own time. Uh, just because I haven't played it for a while and wanted to play it again. And a few things to note is, I'll be honest, this game is nowhere, so far, nowhere near as horrific as the original, in my own personal opinion. But then again, in the original, through here, well, that was a bit intense, Sebastian. You didn't need to... Didn't need to shut that quite like that. I'm guessing that was what's this uh, tripwire. Oh, because you could run through here on the boss fight. I never did though. Um, yeah. No. Um, yeah. Nowhere near as horrific. But then again, we know what to expect in here, I guess. Whereas the first game went with a more rustic, almost Resident Evil 4-ish aesthetic, uh, where <clears throat> this game's got new twists and turns for us. But um, yeah, I, I find myself more frightened at the first game than this, which is uh, which is a shame because it's meant to be horror, obviously. But so so far, anyway, who knows what's going to happen? So uh, everything here seems more normal. No big giant red monstrous tendrils from the sky. Just gonna have a little look around before I move on. Uh, see if there's anything worth looting or killing. Uh, yeah, so we've got to go and find Lily again. And uh, got to make our way up to that new place, up to the theatre. Okay, nothing in there then. Oh, okay. It's a new thing. I didn't even realise you could do that. We can uh, sound horns, I guess, as a distraction method to draw things toward us. Nothing down here, of course. That's an interesting view. I should imagine on PC this game would look fucking amazing. I mean, it looks good anyway. And the first game looked good on all formats anyway. So... Yeah, again, not this one not quite as horrific. Not quite as mind-bending, because we kind of know what we're getting into. But, uh, yeah. Have a little look at that. What is all that spirally shit? Interesting. Okay. Let's make our way back through the marrow. Let's get back to there. 
Okay, so we dealt we dealt with those two bosses pretty well. I used up a lot of ammo, including all my sniper rifle stuff. Um, but we we dealt with it nicely. That was pretty smooth. So yeah, I, I can't because I haven't played the original in such a long time. What did we get? Ah, oh, small gunpowder, good. I couldn't quite remember the exact extra story, how much Sebastian's story got uh, investigated during during the gameplay. And then I remembered while playing through it, or st I'm still playing through it, but like, there is actually a whole lot about him and Myra's past, and Lily being born, and then Lily dying in a horrendous house fire. So this game's this game's capping that off, which I didn't think that was explored too much, but obviously I had misremembered. So it is. Um, yeah, let's drink a coffee. Can't remember if I'm at full health. I probably am, but we're not coming back here, or at least not for a while. Well, my bar didn't appear, so I'm assuming that I was at full health anyway. Okay, I'm just gonna have a little save. I know we haven't really done anything, but we're now on chapter six, so. Okay, on the hunt. Okay. I'm not gonna go into the uh into the room to level up and now uh, I can't be asked yet. We're good enough for now. Back into the marrow. Okay. Wandering along, this is loaded. Good. Cool, cool. The Marrow Access Tunnels Central. Is exactly where we came in from before, so it's good. Ooh. Uh, fallen Mobius operative handgun ammo pouch. Yes, please. Okay, so where is that? Us there. How do we do? How do we get to that? Hmm. Maybe a new path will be open for us? He did say things have been stabilised. West access tunnels. Is that a thing? Can I go through there? Yes. This must be the passage nice. I was talking about. Okay, so we came through that little crawl space before. Now we can go through here. So this is about stuff restabilizing. This is how you see. What was that? Lily. That was a little girl's voice. Yeah. Um, messing with my mind. This gives credence. Just gonna tune into this bullshit. Um, this gives credence to what I was saying before, where the marrow may be one whole gigantic area, but we only get access to part it part of a time. Uh, like parts at a time, sorry, because I uh, found a place called the, the Marrow Armory before, which I will want to go back to because if it's called the Armory, it's going to have some good shit. Uh, just trying to wiggle this around a little bit. Not still not sure how this really works, but hey, I just press buttons till it does. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so the Marrow may be one gigantic place, including the Armory with it. So I will go back to the Armory later because if it's called the Armory, it's going to have some shit in there that I need. Uh, just open you up. What we got? Parts and gunpowder or parts and gel? Parts and gel. Good. Oh. Some more metal pipes for making standard harpoons. It's good. Okay. Nothing else. So yeah, since the marrow is one job complete thing, it may be easy. By the time we get towards end game, it might be easy to transverse this. And, uh, okay, I hear monsters. Any in here? Okay, none in here. Ah, that was the handgun ammo pouch. There's a pouch symbol there, so... Nice. Beautiful. And some gunpowder. 
I'm gonna hold up more hang on, but it's always Whoa shit the bed. Did not see you. Stay down please. Fucking four shots. Ah, uh, didn't see him coming through the door. For obvious reasons. If I'd have just turned in a different direction, I would have seen him and yeah, it'd all been good. Oh well. But there are other monsters. That wasn't him making that noise. There's something. Yes. Right up there, I can see one of them. Okay. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Okay. Anything behind me? There is. Glowy thing. Looks like parts. Worth grabbing. Okay. Right. I'm a, I'm gonna assume, just naturally assume that there's never just one. And even if there is, it's worth sneaking. That sounds like multiple voices. Okay. There's one on its knees. Eating. Yeah, of course you were gonna get up. Of course you were. Yeah, there's two. Okay. Just one of you two, well, both of you two, turn around and I'll at least kill one of you with stealth. No. no. You can fuck off. And make sure that other one wasn't coming around the side there. And that's it. So you go back. I'm going to take the chance and kill this guy now. Never get bored of that. Okay, back the fuck up. Now oh, fuck. Of course. Of course. Oh shit, nope. No, no, no. Run back to where I was. Come back and grab him in a second. Nothing too strenuous as long as he doesn't follow me all the way back. Wait for it. No. Can't see from this angle. Just gonna wait here, see if he runs around the corner. I can hear him. Okay, the eye's gone, so. I don't see anything. Okay, let's see if we can get a stealth kill on this guy. Yeah, he's down the end, okay. Next to his dead buddy. Fuck it. Let's take the chance. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... Fuck it. Still had enough time to drain that and kill him. Did not mean for that to happen. The button pump was there. I was trying to trying to quick kill him and uh, I drained his goo instead. Never good, but it, it worked out. It's fine. Okay, moving on. Yeah, it's same, same way around back there. Okay. Yeah, this door doesn't do anything. Just taking it easy because obviously I don't know what's going on. We could have a, a, a load of them run up this flight. Don't know if they're going to burst out of anywhere. Normal running or this weird sort of saunter Sebastian does, which is slow as fuck. We'll take it at this pace. Okay. Through we go. Oh. Ugh. Okay, what's down there? Oh, that looks gross as well. Alright. 
So what we got going on here? Ah. What the hell is this stuff? Yeah, right. Yeah. Looks like someone had a fucking a party full of just white paint. Ah, oh, it's sticky. Yeah, postulating. Well, this is fucking gross. I'm assuming uh, maybe introduction of a new type of enemy or several new types of enemy. I mean, I haven't seen this type of scenery before. This is fucking sick. Like white enamel paint or some shit. Ugh, it's everywhere. Huh? Okay. Not very condemned of you, game. Stop and listen to yourself, Myron. Whoa. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But okay, I can't pick up that slide yet. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. You okay, so grab this slide. It's a new slide for us to look at. And Myra was right all along. And uh, now playing back through the, the original, there are actually documents relating to after Lily's death when Myra tells Sebastian what she believes and he still doesn't believe her in that game. So... So yeah, she was right all along. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Okay. Okay. I was definitely gonna definitely write about a new enemy. I thought we'd see a new type of like normal enemy. That whatever that was, I didn't really see it as a, like a flash of this white goop stuff. That's yeah. That's, uh, okay, let's see what we got, see what it's going to challenge us with. Oh, great, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that is sick. Not in a good way, I mean, that is fucking disgusting. What are you? Stay down, Sebastian. Oh, his jaw fell off. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. Yeah, no, stick to those fucking crates, bro. Sneak past it. Oh, that's sick. It's, oh, the noise it's making as well. Oh. I know for a fact I'm not the only one thinking that that thing resembles something that's not particularly wholesome or not particularly nice anyway you know I mean you usually clean it up with a set of tissues whoa oh, the fuck okay. okay I'm just gonna say it. even my spunk ain't that aggressive whoa steady on there jizz monster you don't see shit oh that's grim that's all of the grim just uh, look somewhere else would you Oh, stealthing, 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 get to the crate, get to the crate. Yeah, just, just hide. Yeah, I don't want to fuck with you right now. I'm assuming that the fact that there is a stealth section to this uh, means I should be stealthing. Uh, I doubt I can fight it here and now, so let's move. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Go through there somehow. Whoa. Okay, stick to this wall. Uh, okay, making some more cover for me. Go, 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 go. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, that nearly turned around. Okay. Oh, you are so fucking gross. Right. Yeah, turn back. Go, 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 go. Right, out here. Out here. Don't see me. Don't see me. Okay, and we're clear. Oh. Oh. So, yeah. 
that thing was uh don't know what Bethesda were doing on their development team on the day they decided to the hell out of here make that but someone had a really nasty nightmare about a giant jizz monster because that's what that looks like I mean it's it's fucking horrific don't get me wrong it's not nice not nice at all okay okay keep everything stealth managed to get past that without even being seen so that thing doesn't know we exist yet so that's good okay I don't see anything so let's just proceed oh fuck fuck are you oh it's here it's fucking here Ah, oh. oh. please don't. Fucking shoot it, shoot it in the face. Ah, oh, my accuracy is terrible. Ah, uh, was that enough? Oh yes, run. Was that it? Was that it? I thought this place was supposed to be fucking stable. Yeah, you and me both. That is probably the most unstable looking thing I've seen. Okay, so what we got? Okay, so facilities. Exit D5 is... That's where we need to go. So we're going to have a look. Oh. oh. I'm guessing this... Uh, yeah. We're not going to have a look. That's not going to open for us. No, D5 is where we're going to. Okay. So... Looks like someone's enjoying the show. Do you want me to show you, say? What was that about? Oh, security camera up there, okay. okay I'm going to go through here. Oh, okay, I'm not going to go through here. It's locked. Okay, so someone's watching me. It's interesting. Okay, going to do this thing again. See if I can figure this out. Because again, again, it tells us to adjust amplitude and adjust frequency, but... Uh, not really uh, big on how this actually works. So I'm going to have a little play. Uh, okay. So zeroing in, this is quite a slow, a slow process, really. Um, so one is up and down, one is left and right. I think, ah, there we go. Okay, that's nearly matched up now. That's good. Let's pull that shit in a bit. Bit more. There we go. I kind of get that. Yeah, you get you you get where it's going up and down first to try and get more or less ma matching, and then it's left and right. Let's okay, grab this shotgun shells. Beautiful. I uh, can't, uh, can still only hold X amount of them. What's this? Uh, emergency core displacement protocols. It is imperative that the missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with Alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Maro servers. So that's displacement protocols, and uh, yeah, that will that, that will make sense. We kind of know what happened here now, but uh, it's always uh, it's always good to get a little bit of backstory. Okay, nothing else in here then. Okay, so safe house, beautiful. Quite happily get out the marrow after I saw that thing. Ooh, CCTV. So the person in here is the one that's been watching me? Well, they've been watching me from here. Okay. Someone's been watching. That's what I just said, Sebastian. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Okay. Oh, shit, watch Don't out. Move. Mobius, right? I... Shut up! Don't say a word. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who okay. told you that? Okay. Turn around. Do it slow. 
Okay. Who the fuck are you? Okay. Random You're woman. Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. All oh, right. What? You do? Believe me now. Fuck. Lack of micro expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Fuck are you talking about? Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Fuck. Combat isn't my forte. No shit. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Yeah, they're not. Have you found any other team members? I have. But the only one I found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on. But this place is still falling apart. And I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union. And can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. Yep. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair our communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless. He's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Will do. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about these things. Lily thinks I'm dead. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah. Maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. Okay, good to know. Uh, okay. If psychopaths. Keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, it didn't. Psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us He's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. You should. I helped devise those tests. Uh, so there's something more to this. There's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. Ruvik. Then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. 
Another person who wanted the core's power. Yeah, he did. No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Whatever you say. Okay. Let's move out. Ooh! I see you, Red Gel. Yes, please. I must have two of them now. I better use them soon. Okay, so you want gunpowder? No point. Can't use the syringes. Okay. Ooh, let's see what's on the computer. Uh, to all concerned from Operative Grisham, uh, Lily Castellos' initial findings. The ideal core candidate must have been must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate, type, candidate types. Egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, i.e. Ruvik. Uh, so a child is our best bet. Having access to stabilised school test results, we are able to narrow down our options. We feel that we've found an ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she is... She not only has a guileless ego, but she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child of her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. Beautiful. So, yeah, we, we already heard that about Lily, about our daughter. Grab these. Uh, I think it's time we've done a bit of upgrading, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get in here. Meow. So, yeah, no, this time... I think I'm going to look at the slide first because that will give us green gel before we go in. Or at least the cat has given us green gel every time before anyway. And let's have a look what we got. What's this? Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty... I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. Okay. Good to know. Now, I still didn't imagine Myra looking this way, even from the first game, but hey, we'll take the gel. Okay, we're good to go. So, let's get in here and just level up. There we go. What can I help you with, Detective? Uh, lots of things. You seem more at ease, Detective. You've found a possible ally in this dangerous world. Potentially. I'm not sure about that. I never know who to trust in here. Present company included. A shame. After all we've been through together. Isolation and distrust aren't symptoms of mental illness. But they are... unfortunate byproducts of it. That is very true. yourself off from others does nothing but agitate your condition. You are human. You require connection the way a plant requires light. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Right now is to your machine. I've still got a long road ahead of me. Cool, cool. And I don't know if it's just me, guys. I'm, I'm just going to go into this locker here. But uh, the game seems a little bit out of sync. Uh, Voice-wise. I cannot take them, so... Okay. Ooh, sniper bullets. Great, great. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't have a back icon. I actually don't have a back icon. How do I get out of here? Okay, guys. Just had to cut there and actually exit completely out of the game and come back in because, uh, yeah, I got locked out. I had no back button, so I couldn't actually go and upgrade. Yeah, it, uh, it locked me out, so fuck that. Okay, uh, so, weird glitch. Very weird glitch. So, I'm just going to look through here, see what I can and can't do. So, I f found the first glitch of The Evil Within 2, at least on uh, Xbox. So, what to do, what to do. 
Unfortunately, that means I don't get the sniper rifle ammo either. Uh, what am I looking at here? Okay. Uh, maximum life increase. That'd be handy. Uh, stuff to unlock a red gel. Defiance 2. Raise your pain threshold. Lane to survive attacks. It should have been done more than enough damage to kill you. Hmm. Vitality. Uh, total health recovery and generate near death status is increased. That's okay. About combat. Snap to focus. Press Y while aiming to concentrate and slow down time. Quite handy. Uh, what else? Melee attacks including weapons. Axes do more damage. So we're getting to we're getting to the high higher level stuff now. Bullet cascade. Oh, damage increases with each consecutive shot. That's twenty k. That does sound good though. Okay. Uh, go back to health. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna increase my maximum health. And I'm gonna unlock that with a red gel and twelve thousand for the next one. So yeah, I can't I can't increase anything else. That'll do. That'll do. Get out. So yeah, I opened that other locker again. You didn't get to see that unfortunately. Um, and it just had some gunpowder in. So uh, we'll go and we'll go and do some crafting. No no sniper rifle bullets this time. So I'm actually gonna have to make some of my own. Yeah, I'll give myself all eight. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's change this. Reload. There we go. And we'll go back into craft and see if I can get the rest of the eight for stock. I can. Beautiful. Sniper rifle is full in the magazine and for stock afterwards as well. Good, good. Right, let's go back. Okay, back into the marrow. So, uh, so you are Yukiko Hoffman. I'm just going to save again because I don't want that glitch to uh, do anything wrong to me. I had to kind of reload from. I was actually back in here when I reloaded and just went back into the room again and brought the clip back on in there. So, save that. It's a good job. Okay, let's see what happens next. Okay, so exit D5. I'll leave Yukiko to her uh, to her musings. Not quite full on uh, pistol ammo, but can't craft anything there. Hopefully, we'll find some. What we got? Smoke powder. Okay, anything around here? That's a no. Okay, Just didn't realise there'd be another operative in the marrow. So let's go back to Union. Again, apologies for keep cutting off the mic, but um, but yeah, I've still got a horrendous cough, so don't want to be hacking down the mic at you. Okay, uh, let's get back. Let's get back in. Okay, let's have a look at this. Ooh, stuff. High grade weapons parts. That's handy. The high grade weapons parts are useful for unlock. We'll take some gunpowder. Oh, and there's the handgun bullets I need. Okay, we're up to max again. 38. Oh, another mirror in here. Always good. Take the weapons parts. Get our sniper rifle up. I'm ready for some shooting. Okay, what's this? Ah, oh, a resonance point. Let's have a listen.
Okay, and we all know she never came back with the APC because uh, the armoured personnel carrier was where we found the Warden's crossbow earlier on in the game, so that's why he died here. Okay, so out in the open. All right, the theatre. I'm coming for you. Oh, I hear lots of noises. I'm not going to be as stealthy out here. I'm just going to... I've got a, a, a fuck ton of ammo and I can craft quite easily. Okay, there's a guy over there. What's he doing? Okay, we've got the lightning going on. Oh, shit. Okay, coming right at me. Fuck are you. Fucking missed that. Try again. Yeah, luckily normal baddies go down in one regardless of where you hit them with that sniper rifle. So that's good. Okay. Oh, hello. Big giant fucking eyeball in the sky. Okay. What's going on? Okay, so I'm probably going to investigate the area a little bit and... Yeah, that is that is all of the creepy. Um, go investigate the area a bit, do some free roaming. Free roaming stuff, kill some stuff off. So I'm now coming to the conclusion that that noise, because that was kind of the clicky sort of ropey noise we heard before, I'll go up here, get a better view, uh, is actually that, is actually the, the eye, eye camera in the sky, rather than like the dog type enemy things, whatever they're called. Okay, so some, some green gel, I'll have that. Okay, we'll have a little look around here. Can't immediately see any enemies, that's uh, not a bad thing. Uh, some weapons part. What the? Uh, again, I'm assuming that it is that. Fucking creepy ass thing. Um, I'm assuming it's that, yeah. This is, oh, okay. So, some of these are locked. We have locked Mobius chests, okay. So, we need to go over here. To the theatre. Or, in our peasant speak, theatre. Okay, there's oh, a couple of big ass paintings on here. Yeah, that is ominous as fuck. Uh, what is this all about? Let's investigate. What the hell are these things about? <laughs> exactly yeah, my word, Sebastian. Exactly. There. She is. Or at least we think she is. Whoa. Okay. Motherfucker. What is this? No, I fucking didn't. This one is more to your liking. Listen. No! Somebody help me! I'm preparing my greatest work yet. But you are not worthy enough to witness it. Not until you learn to respect my art. Listen. Fuck you, your art is crazy. Okay, so Stefano's art, and it's chapter 7, that was a quick chapter, chapter 6, chapter 7, a lust for art. So, you, you fucking thing up there, watching me all the time. A, a, a new theory on Big Brother's watching you, okay. Okay, so let's have an explore around, and if I can do Stefano's art, I will do Stefano's art, but... Let's, uh, let's scout out a new area because this is a new part of Union, so there's going to be shit everywhere. And these all look dead. Whoa! Ah, oh, not enough. Okay, another one of these. Everything skits is out, all the scenery in there. Oh, fucking you. Let's just let's hide a little bit. Hopefully they, they won't come past here. I can't guarantee it, I don't know, but... Stay where you fuckers are. How am I going to deal with you? Oh, there's, there's two more over the back as well. Right over the back. Fuck. Fuck off. Oh, you're so gross. you got them white pustules as well. Okay, what are you doing? Can I stab you? Do you want to you come a little closer to the corner? No, okay, apparently not. Don't see me. Do not see me from there. Fucking quite a lot of you. It's gonna be hard. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna get the fuck back. 
Nope, not pistol. No, not shotgun. We are going full out sniper rifle. Let's take these fuckers out from a distance. Fucking nice. Yeah, fuck off. Okay, your turn. Oh, that thump. Okay. Oh, missed that one. Motherfucker. Okay, gotta be more careful. Load this shit back up. Used a lot of bullets, but each bullet was a kill apart from that last one, so. Okay, what we got? Oh, that hit the fence as if. Uh, okay. Okay, that was just me being retarded. There we go. Okay. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, I don't know why I took that shot. Okay. Okay, so we, we took a lot of them down. That's good. Let's go and collect our green gel. There's all of the experience points. That's good. Good. Another pile of body armor. Should I be concerned about these random piles of bodies? I see, I see I have a lot of them. Real lot of them. Okay. Now there's at least two more over here. Maybe even three. I see you there. Uh, there is. There is. I see two. I see two. Getting over here. So this guy didn't drop any green gel. He just dropped uh, gunpowder. Hello, buddy. Yeah, that's it. Run, run around. Run around. I'm just going to position myself here. That's it. Come to me. Oh, fuck. I thought I'd get close enough to the corner. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, I was, uh, I forgot the controls briefly again, guys. I'll pick up another axe. Fuck it. Come on, then. I've got, uh, I've got an axe for your name on it. Are you, st are you literally stuck on the plant? You are. Okay, I'll move out, move back in. Just come at me, I'll swing at you. Oh, shit. Too early, too early. There we go. Okay, good thing I've got a shit ton of health. So, not, not my best effort, but hey. Okay, let's uh, let's explore. I needed them all out of the way so I could move more freely. So no regrets with the sniper rifle there. That, it done the job it needed to do. Oh, what have we here? What we have we here? It's one of you. Right, two bullets should take you down. So I've got two left. So let's do this. One, two. Is she down? She she fell. She fell. It's good. Right, but these others are coming for me now, so let's just uh, hide. Where are you guys? You're there. Oh, I'll make this whole area clear and safe, so I've got room to move and breathe. Okay. So, doesn't seem like that much over there. Oh. Oh, good, you're dead. Anything on here? No. Thought, thought there might be some green gel, but okay. So there's two or three over here. Medical syringe that I can't use. Let's uh, yeah, let's actually jack up, get our health back up, and then take that. I still haven't found any particular option to increase the amount of med syringes I I can craft or have or. Whatever. Maybe I'm not looking enough in the health section of it, but it doesn't matter. We'll hide here. We're not taking huge amounts of damage or anything right now. It's mainly my fuck-ups, so... Okay. So watch you guys. I want to get a stealth kill, so... You've got an axe as well, which is handy. You can come over here and turn around and do me a favour. Okay, you're not going to do that. Let's just kill you here, then. Oh, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? I thought I pressed A. Clearly, I did. Whoa. How about no? Clearly not. I think I pressed our, our bumper by accident, and he kind of dashed forward a little bit, like the uh, the dash stealth kill thing, and it just bumped into her. Okay. Okay. Where are you at? Oh, you've just gone straight back to your route. Okay.
Okay. Okay, so let's try that again. Just a little bit, a little bit more uh, methodical about this. Yeah, so again, my fuck up. Again, I'm not the I'm not the best player when it comes to these horror games, but we'll uh we'll get this. Don't worry. Has she has she got rid of has she got rid of the axe? Does she do drop it? Oh, damn it! Fuck it! Oh, there's another one around there as well as well as whoa! Who sees me? Oh, you had a little look see. You coming over here? Come on, come on! Fucking boom! <laughs> yeah, nice. All right, I'll get her now. Just look away. Oh. Uh, it's a bit far away, I don't know if I want to risk that. Uh, you come back this way and turn, maybe. That's the way. Yes, let's do it. No, no. Go out wide. Come on, come on, come on. Before the other one sees us. Quickly! Yes! Fucking have that. Uh, back, 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 back! Oh, no, 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 I see this. Okay, I had a problem with the game capture there, guys, but uh, we'll cut back in, we'll just go after this guy. Yeah, had, uh, had a bit of an issue. But luckily I managed to start recording straight, ag straight away again afterwards, so that's good. Get this fucker. Yeah, he followed us, he saw me after I killed his friend. Um, yeah, and for some reason the game capture sort of errored out. Don't know why. Have no idea why. So, uh, not a big problem though, not a big problem. I managed to catch it in time so you didn't really miss anything. Anything of worth. Which means there'll be a quick cut. Okay, what we got here? Okay. A lock on this door. Seems that way. Looks like if I had a key, I could open it. Okay, so not just locked chair, maybe it's chest, but locked doors that require keys. Good to know. Oh, random, random green gel sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Always good. Always good. Okay, so that sounds like that may be Lily again, or something, or one of the art pieces anyway. Okay, so let's, let's have... Oh, there's two more as well. Uh, unknown re resonance has been logged. I need to get the other one. Come on. There we go. No. No, Stefano's art. Come on. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Let's have a little look, see. What is this all about? Okay, what the fuck was that? What? Oh, you have to be shitting me. Really? We killed you! Oh, great. Oh, great. That now makes sense. The piles of bodies now make sense. The piles of bodies are her spawn points. It's like, like at the entrance to City Hall where all the bodies came together. Oh, motherfucker. I'm not killing her again. It's just such a waste of ammo if I do it again. Right, let's get this lock point. Okay. Got it marked. Got it marked. So this is going to be a thing now, isn't it? She's... Because any pile of bodies that's going to be around, she can spawn from now, I'm assuming. 
assuming. I'm assuming the game's going to be dictatory like that. Yeah, look at her there running around. Fucking hell. She can jump. Couldn't do that before. So I'm assuming we're going to have a hard time now. That she's going to be... It's going to be Resident Evil Nemesis. It's going to be the Nemesis. She's going to be following us. Okay, what's this? Resonance point is maybe in this building. Let's just grab this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be in here, isn't it? Hopefully there are no nasties. Okay. Here. No. Try again. Okay, so this guy was seeing some disturbing stuff. He said something about remembering it as he was a child. As it was when he was a child, so... Don't know what that is. And this is a little bit ominous. Weapons parts, yes please. Okay. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Oh, oh shit. It's just a jukebox. Turn that fucker off before it leads anyone here. Oh, you no. Not this shit again. Oh, you need to fuck all of the way off. Get out. Get out. Oh, great. It's not outside. Oh, motherfuckers. We're in another one of these. Oh, get through here. Fuck it. Just hide. Hide. She's coming for you, Sebastian. Let's get, get through here. Shit! Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Oh. oh. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, hug the side. Whoa! You are a scary fucking bitch. Yeah, this is by far the nastiest creature in here. I thought we were done with you. What What are you? What have you got to do with this? Just not explained. What does that thing want from me? Yeah, I, I agree. I agree, Detective Castellanos. What the fuck does that thing want with you? It has not been explained what that is, or why it's after us, or why it knows our name. It's fucking horrific. Okay. Okay, it's going to be another one of these, isn't it? We're going to have to find a way around that thing again, because that's what happens. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got a few doors, a few beds. I'm going to have a look. I have a feeling. Yeah, there's a big mirror here. Oh, that's me from you from Beacon, mate. Yeah, yeah, boy. Whoa, the fuck! I should have, I should have expected that. Fuck off. Oh, oh, that just that singing. La la. You are fucked up. Can she kill me in the mirror? No, she can't. Okay, cool, cool. Ah, oh, okay, good. So. Oh, it's so creepy. I do like Sebastian's original uniform from the first game. I uh, wish he was wearing that. So, I saw a light in that mirror. Is this door that light? Is it, only one door had a light above it. I think it was this one. Isn't it? What's in here? Oh, okay, no, same room. Something weird about this room. Yeah, I... I, I Something I'm not seeing. Yeah, I messed up. See, there's a door in the mirror. I thought it was that. This one has a lot. Has a light. No, we're back in the room again. Okay, so I'm missing something. I'm doing something wrong. Uh, which reflection is it? It is over in this direction because that door has a light. Which the others, yeah, the others don't. So that must be the way to proceed. So is it is it this door? Cuz it's reflecting. No. You see the pop the pop up immediately. Okay. Okay. So okay. 
Is it this door? I'm just gonna go through them all. Eventually, I'm gonna get it right one way or another, right? Ah, uh, yes, this is different. This is different. I'm not good at puzzles, reflection or otherwise, regardless of how easy or hard they are. Okay. Okay. Some more doors. Oh, you can go fuck yourself. Oh, it's just this fucking horrible nursery rhyme thing she's going on. Na 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 na. Oh. I do not want to know what happens to you if she gets her hands on you. Stay the fuck away, okay? She goes on. I'm assuming there's a big old mirror up there. I'm assuming we need to see which door in that mirror. Let's uh, keep it on my own hair first. Okay, yeah, that's it. Go around that way. Okay, let's look in the mirror. Where is it? Is it okay? The door. Door has. It's that door. That door is. That door. Oh. Uh, some mirrors there. Reflecting. Oh, you can fuck yourself. I'm so glad you can't see me from there. You're a little bit scarier than Laura, or Lauren, or whatever her name was in the first game. That was the four legged spider bitch that chased us. I mean, she was scary, but she was deadly. You are just creepy scary. Will you get the fuck away from that door? Because I want to go near there. Yeah, you fuck off over there. No, 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 no. Seems like she can sense us. So if you, if I go over here, will she go over here? Yes, yes, she will. So go around that way, because I need to go through the door over here. Fuck it. I think this is the door. Yeah, let's 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 leg it. Please be the door. Yeah, different hallway, so it must have been right. Do it, let's get out. Whoa. Ah, oh, more of this. Yeah, that that's all beacon. No. Oh. Something's wrong. Why? Another Is another photographic slide. Again? Yeah, I, I don't know, Sebastian. I have no idea why that thing's chasing you again. I wish I did. I wish we could combat it. I don't think it's going to be... I don't think we can just shoot it and kill it. Okay, well... We've got the big bitch outside. We've got the creepy bitch fucking floating around chasing us. We've got a whole host of these these Nazis that just want our insides. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something over here. What's this? Ooh, sniper rifle ammo pouch. Yes, please. All the ammo pouches I want. Oh, oh, and it's right here. That's uh, that's real handy. So up to eleven maximum stock, as well as whatever you can hold in the breach. Good. This I like. This I like. Okay, so that was very easy. Okay, so we've got. Two evil bitches that one after us. And, uh, what we got? Ah, uh, safe house. I want the safe house. Uh, we're getting close to time here, guys. So, I, I need to get to safety. I got scary, crazy, fucking singing bitch that wants to haunt my nightmares. Ready to drag me into the... Oh, you can go suck a dick. And I've got this fucker with a giant chainsaw or buzz or hand that's fucking after me at any turn. Okay, handgun bullets over there. Oh, why? Well, at least you don't see me yet. I need to get to the safe house. Can you just just go over there and fuck some stuff up? Okay, so there's a gate around it. Crimson's Plaza. What was that? Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh, the safe house. Okay, the safe house is gated off. But there's a whoa. How about no? Where did you fuckers come from? Okay, that's one. Back. I do not want to be battling out here. 
crazy laughing fucking chainsaw bird is about. I just yeah, stay down. Okay, let me through. Okay, there's there is one in here. It don't matter. Can't hurt me during a, a animation. Oh, maybe a sky. Okay. 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 Hey, hey, you over there! You gotta help me. I will help you because this is clearly scripted, so I have no choice. Mission start out in the open. Please tell me the big bitch can't come in here. Will you just die? Okay, so please tell me the fucking chainsaw, uh, the buzzsaw hand woman can't get in here because that's going to make this difficult. What? So what are we dealing with here? Oh, fuck. Okay. My accuracy is so bad. Yeah, you deal with that one up there. I'll deal with this guy down here. Can I climb up? I, I cannot climb up. Okay. Give me that. Oh, okay. There's more. You are a worse shot than me, sir. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. And you. And you. Just unloading on you guys. Oh, that was a bit easier than I thought. That was the last of them. Oh, no. No, no, no. Where are you? Oh, you can fuck all of the off. Oh, right. You just saved my ass. I didn't think anyone would come. Huh? You're from the search team. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the cutscene. She's in the cutscene. That's amazing. It's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Uh, Bethesda, you are so amazing at uh, uh, games, like graphical cutscenes. Oh, she fucked off. That was hilarious. I'm just gonna get this goo. Yeah. Ah, that was cool. Um, I'm glad you didn't come in during the fight. That would that would have been an issue. That'd have been an issue. I'm trying to stay away from her while killing those things. Maybe there there should be a way uh, in future a patch or something. You guys should program that so she just disappears. Therefore, she can't influence this scene. Oh, good. Good, good. Safe house. Exactly what I want. Come on in. I can't get in here. Thanks again for helping me out. I'm Sykes. Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos, huh? I've heard of you. You survived you the have? incident, right? I did. I know that. I'm a STEM programmer, but I've got other skills too, like hacking information systems. I know all kinds of things that nobody else knows, not even other members of the team. Then you know who Lily Good to is. know. Yeah. We're all trying to find her. Haven't had any luck though. That's why you're here, huh? That's yep. right. But if you can't help me with that, then we've got nothing else to discuss. Good luck. Hey, hold on. We might still be able to help each other out. This better be good. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could probably use. And you can have it for saving me out there. You want to hear my proposal? Come on back to me. I do want to hear your proposal, but uh, not quite yet. Yeah, let's save. So that was a little bit intense. A lot of shit got thrown at us all uh, all at once. Uh, I'm going to save here on chapter 7. A lust for art. Uh, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that's going to do me. Right, yeah, I've run out of time for this video, guys. Uh, so we done alright. We got a load of shit cleared. We got back out of the marrow. We met Yukiko Hoffman. We've now meet, met this uh, Mobius operative Sykes. Seems like an okay-ish guy. And we're now being pursued by not only the singing lady that's fucking death the moment we touch her, I'm assuming, but also the big, big woman that also wants to saw us into pieces. And I'm assuming she's going to be a new addition that's following us around all the time. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I enjoyed playing this. As always, I've been Lord Exus. And I'll see you guys in the next video. In a bit.